for tuning into the My Positive Perspective Internet Show today, where, where we feature individuals and groups who have the goal of benefiting the local Charleston community. Today's episode is brought to you by On Purpose Adventures, because normal bachelor parties are overrated anyways. In today's episode, we have musician Graham Worley. So how you doing, Graham? Good, man. How's everything? Good, good, good. Well, uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time to follow to follow your uh, your music, but but definitely I know you're a very well respected uh, musician and have a long career of uh, playing music. So, kind of how long have you been playing music? What got you started with music as a profession? Uh, you know, when I was I was five years old, my father put me in piano lessons, Suzuki piano, and I played until I was twelve. I picked up the guitar at twelve. I played my first real gig mm -hmm. at uh, 13, 14 years old, and I was hooked. Yeah, know? yeah. And, and um, you know, did a lot of uh, learning through the years, and, and, you know, music became not only a, uh, a driving force in my life, but actually what kept my life what it was. You yeah, know, music a, actually, a way of life. Yeah. yeah, I believe, truly, it kept me out of jail, it kept me from truly being dead right now, yeah. you know, I mean, it helped you pay the bills, it really has, yeah, do um, all that, be, be, become a productive person, and, and people that, you know, in the entertainment field, it, it, it's such a blessing to be paid for doing what we love, yeah. it, it, it really is, and, um, yeah, it, um, so, so what kind of were some of your, uh, uh, Inspiring artists, I guess, when you were younger, growing up. Uh, well, I was a huge Hendrix fan, you know, as a kid. Um, I was big into the blues, old John Coltrane, jazz, uh, Miles Davis, Muddy Waters, obviously Hendrix. Um, and then I started, you know, towards my late teenage years, started getting to artists like Leo Kotke, uh, Michael Hedges, uh, you know, with the loop aspects, I was looping before yeah. I before I had even heard of Keller Williams. I was uh, doing you know moderate loops, and then a friend of mine said, "Have you ever heard of Keller? You know, you're doing a lot of kind of stuff like he's doing." And I mm -hmm. said, "No, I haven't." And so I actually got to go see Keller, and was amazed. Great, great, amazing artist. And, yeah. And then we actually got to do a show together uh, about a year and a half, two years ago. Uh, at the Poor House on uh, James Island, right? Wow. Well, yeah. yeah, great yeah. spot. Right. Um, and I've done some great shows there with some really great artists: Tim Reynolds, uh, you know, uh, Michael Glebecki from Rusted Root, um, a, a lot of the, you know, New Riders of the Purple Sage. Uh, actually, I had uh, Lee Oscar from War, the harmonica player, come sit in with me years ago at Berlin. Yeah. You know, and meeting all these artists and and you know being able, you know, some some people can go their whole lives and not be able to uh, play with an artist like any of the artists I just mentioned, and to be able to be able to play with all of these people just in my lifetime, I, I, it's humbling. Yeah, no. it really it is. Really it, is. It, it really is humbling. Well, what uh, if you were to define the musical term looping? Mm -hmm. What would it be? Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know. That's not an easy textbook. question. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Um, maybe, maybe an example. Yeah, you might not find this in the dictionary. Yeah. But, uh, you know, looping <laughs> basically is you play live. Mm -hmm. Everything, all my loops are live. There's no pre-recorded anything. Right. But basically, you, you play live, uh, record that sound, and then mm -hmm. play it back. Okay. And then okay. layer. And you yeah. keep layering the sounds, and you come out with a full piece of music through one instrument. Oh, okay. You know, almost like a full band aspect of wow. things, you know. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot of little tricks and, and little things that you can add to it, but to you know just be looping. Basically, it's playing, recording, playback, and dubbing over live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's the, that that's really neat. Um, well, what are some of your uh, do you have any cool uh, 
you know, memories of a, of a specific performance that you played at where you really enjoyed? Oh man, I love them all. Yeah, you know, you did. Just, it's hard to separate yeah, them. Man. It really is. A, I always say it's the big gig. You know, every you know somebody says, "Where were you last night?" I go, oh, "Hold on, let me think." <laughs> yeah, you know, hold on, yeah. Where was I? I remember having a great time, but I, I kind of don't put myself in the situation of the place. I yeah. put myself more in the situation of the mindset of being able to enjoy what's going on around me. Sure, and, sure. And, you know. Well, we, 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 you've come with a lot in the past, but I know uh, there's always a feature. You, you know, you're still a young guy. So, so, so what does the feature hold with your music, do you think? Well, right now, uh, just within the last two years, we've started a sound production company, uh, N8, okay. N8 Audio. Okay. And, uh, and you know, I, I, I truly would like to start uh, just... You know, what I've been doing, and basically that is looking for great artists uh, out there that I believe in, that, that I believe can can truly add an aspect of not only the local scene, but international mm -hmm. scene. Um, we do the Tuesday nights at the Brickhouse Kitchen. We do uh, the Charleston Community Drum Circle every Tuesday night with Bram Worley and friends. And... We do drums from six to eight, and then we do Graham Worley and Friends eight on. And I basically bring different people up to you know spotlight them, people that sure. are traveling, that are touring through town, different yeah. bands, solo artists, also local musicians that I believe need to be spotlighted right. and and paid a little attention to. You know. Yeah, and then, of course, one of the people I saw you playing with uh, last. I think last September, I think it was uh, Dan. It was December. It was uh, Dan Lloyd your Danger Muffin. Oh yeah. You know, cook, he, he could. He's been on some my Files and Perspective episodes yeah. as well. So. Well, Dan's a good guy. Oh, yeah, All, yeah. That, the whole band, uh, Danger Muffin, they're just really good guys, and uh, you should check them out if you haven't seen them. Amazing band. Sure. Um, and yeah. they're fighting for the same thing I'm fighting for to get awareness for this local scene get Charleston back on the map for being a music town. Because at one time, you know, 20, even 30 years ago, Charleston was a major hub for music. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of slipped out for a bit. And now it's starting to really come back and yeah. full force some really great bands out there right. that are traveling in the United States and even the world from Charleston, one of them being Danger Muffin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, ben Fagan, the Holy City yeah, Hulu. Yeah, he just came out from uh, Costa Rica. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And he's back and forth from there. And, you know, there's just some really great uh, talent in this town that needs to be exposed. Oh, definitely. And, 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 and my positive perspective is all about highlighting local talent, local events that are coming to the Charleston area. This is why I, I do my positive perspective. I'm going to be... Cool people like you. So. Uh, well, I get to meet cool people like you. <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, thank y'all for tuning in to My Positive Perspective. Don't forget my radio show is on Wednesdays on Kinetic Hi Fi from 6 to 7 p.m. So thank you for watching and have a great day. On a sunny day, I feel my thoughts drift away. Only good vibes and good times living in my brain. Sunny day, catch me dampin' in the shade, feeling so fine and so high. Oh, my sunny day, still I hope all my efforts will one day pan out. The love within, you'll never be without. So I roll, feeling strong and so invincible.